So friends, today we are going to be making these adorable little bunnies. They are so, so sweet. This is a free Tilda pattern and um, they're really fun to make. Really, really fun. Uh, they're nice and small so they don't take too long. They don't take a lot of fabric and they're just super, super sweet. So the first thing you're going to do is head to the Tilda World website and you're going to print out your pattern pieces and then we are going to cut out your pattern pieces on the line. So on the outside line and that is our first step. So let's go do that. Okay, so once we've got all the pieces cut out, we're gonna put aside this one here. This is for the dress fabric. So we'll put that one aside and we're just gonna work on the body pieces to begin with. So for my body, I've got this scrap of um, like a beigey colored quilting fabric. I'm sorry for the lighting, but it's super overcast um, at the moment. We have just been having rain every single day. And so it's, it's hard to get the lighting right. So I've got lamps but this is like a beigey quilting cotton with just a, a, a white spot on it. So I'm gonna turn this so that it is right sides together, folded in half. And you don't need a lot for these, so definitely go and hit up your scrap pile, your scrap bucket to see what you've got to make your rabbits. And we are going to be placing these pattern pieces on we are going to trace around them. Now we need to trace around the main body part once with it folded over. We need to do the ears twice with it folded over and the arms and legs twice with it folded over. So let's do that. Let's trace around those. So we're going to be tracing around and I'm just using a regular pencil, tracing around our pattern pieces. And this is our stitching line that we're drawing. Okay, so once you have traced everything on, it's going to look a little bit like this. And then you're going to go to the sewing machine and you are actually going to do a stitch on that line all the way around, leaving the openings open. So all of your openings are going to be the ends where it says extra seam. So all of these are your openings. And you're gonna leave those parts open, but you're gonna stitch on all of the other lines and just make sure that you reduce your stitch length down to a really tight stitch. Because we're going to be um, stuffing these quite firm, you want it to be very, very close stitching. I don't know if you can see, see how tight those stitches are. So I usually take mine down to a sort of 1.2 um, of thereabouts. Sometimes it might be more or less, but usually about 1.2. And yeah, so we're going to do that back stitching at the start and finish and sewing on all of those lines. So let's go do that.
Okay, so once you've sewn all the way around each of your pieces here, what you're going to do is cut them out with a very scant quarter inch seam around each of the pieces. Okay, so once you've got all of your pieces cut out, what you want to do now is you're actually going to trim up the curves, put little notches in the curves of your um, pattern pieces. So all the inside curves are the ones you're going to worry about. So the curves that curve inside on all of the pattern pieces. So inside, inside, inside. And that's just going to help you get a nice align when you turn it through. Right, once you've done all of that, the next job is to turn all of your pattern pieces through the right side. So I have got this um, chopstick that I'm going to use. So you can use chopstick, pencil, um, whatever it is that you want to use. I find it easiest to kind of separate my pieces and then find a little bit of a nest inside there to poke my chopstick through and then just give it a bit of a finger press to get it all the way out and do that for all of the pieces. Okay, so we've got all of our pattern pieces all turned all the way through. The next thing you're going to need to do is stuff all your pattern pieces. Um, so I just use a polyfill. Um, this one is just called, so this one is just a hobby fill it's called, and it's just a uh, polyester fill. So that's what I use. And when you do it, um, do it just a tiny bit at a time. 
So we want to pack it really firmly. So once you think you've packed it full, keep going because it really, really, really firmly is how you want it to be because that helps um, just hold its shape. So these are so firm that you can kind of not really even press them on this one here. So that's what we're aiming for, it's really firm. The ears, I've only got just a small amount in because they don't, it doesn't matter if they're a bit floppy, but the arms and the legs and the body are quite firm. So let's get filling. Okay, so I've tucked the seam allowance in on the arms and on the ears. The legs, you don't need to tuck the seam allowance because they are gonna sort of sit inside the body. But now we just need to stitch everything together. So for the bigger dolls, we tend to use um, doll needles if we've got one. For this, we don't really need to worry about it. So all we're gonna be doing for these ones, we'll start off with the legs and get them out of the way. Now that's still got its raw raw edge there. We're just going to pinch it so that um, we're pinching it flat with our seams lining up together, our joins lining up together. And that's going to sit on the inside of the body. So our body, the seam allowance is tucked up. One leg is going to be stitched in this position. And the other leg will be stitched in on the other side. So we'll just slide that in, make sure they're kind of the same height. You don't want to have one leg shorter than the other, so we might tuck him in a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So all you need to do now is with a needle and thread, or you could use a sewing machine, um, but I am going to just use a needle and thread. And we're just going to stitch that across the bottom. So I've hand stitched this one straight across the bottom. We're gonna do the same with this, just hand stitching across the bottom to put the legs on. Okay, so I've got my legs on. The next thing I'm gonna do is put the arms on. So I have, just turned in my seam allowance so that there's no raw edges showing and I'm just going to pin it into place on the body and the position of it really is completely up to you but I'm going to give it a little bit of a neck and then I'll apply the arm so I'm just going to do the same sort of thing um, as I did with the legs, just with a, a regular needle. And I'm just going to stitch around the edges, just joining those two pieces together. So I've got one side stitched on. I'm actually not going to um, cut this thread, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a knot. Keep in mind that these seams are actually going to be fairly covered by um, the dress. So if they're not perfect, it's not a big deal. So what I mean by that is once the dress is on, you actually don't see that join. So don't get too concerned about the tidiness. Just try to get it on as firmly and as, as um, neatly as you can. So I'm going to then get my next arm. And I'm going to line it up with the first one. I'll put a pin to hold it for the moment. Be careful not to pin yourself because it will come through <laughs> on the other side. So I'm gonna just take this needle straight across to the other arm. And then I can stitch the next arm on. And finally, we have our little rabbit ears. Now this is where you're gonna get some character with your bunnies. So you might find that you like your ears right out to the side, which is super cute. I like my ears very much 
together on the top of the head. Um, I know that in the uh, pattern they're a bit further apart, but I just really like mine on top of the head. So have a fiddle around with where you want your ears to sit, and then you're going to stitch those on the same as you have done your arms. Okay, so we've got his arms and legs and ears on. We are going to set our little rabbit to the side for the moment because the next job we have is to make the dress. Okay, so for the dress, we need to choose our fabric and I've got this green floral that I'm going to use. We're going to do right sides together. And we're going to trace around this piece, putting down all of the markings. So we're now going to take this to the sewing machine and we are going to sew from the armpit, this little um, bit here, all the way down to the bottom of the pattern piece. So down to here. We're going to do a, a little bit of a back stitch at the start and finish and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we're going to cut around the entire pattern piece, so the uh, square piece, with a quarter inch seam. Okay, so we've cut around our pattern piece. Um, now, I didn't leave an extra quarter inch at the bottom because it's already got the seam allowance marked there. So I've just taken that straight to the seam allowance and a quarter of an inch on all the other sides. So now we need to go to our ironing board and where this triangular shape is we are actually going to iron our fabric out lining up with those and we'll do the same on the other side so you're going to sort of finger press it to where you need it to be match it on the other side and you're going to iron those creases into place so now that you've done that, you are actually going to use your uh, pattern line. So it would be this line here that's drawn and you're going to fold and iron the tops down like so. And then we're going to take our bottom hem and we are going to fold that up to the hem line. So we will fold that up, give that a press, and then we're actually going to just do a, a straight stitch across that to hold that bottom hem in place. So, so far your dress should look like this. We've just done a straight stitch across the bottom and we've got the top half pressed into place. So now we're going to turn this the right side round. Like so. And this is going to be the dress. So we're going to slide it in. And where our little triangular bits are, that is the uh, the armholes and this is the top neckline so to sew this closed we are going to use a needle and thread so I'm going to coordinate it a little bit with this little bit of green thread
get my needle. Tie a knot. I'm going to slide the knot inside the dress. I'll start at the, the middle and the top and I'm just going to do a gathering stitch. So we're just going to go in and out the whole way along. And then continue that around. And then we're going to pick up the other side. And continue around, going in and out. So we're just going In and out with our gathering stitch. And then to join the other side, same sort of thing. Just line them up, slide the needle through, and in and out to the front. Alright, so once you've worked out whether your gathers are exactly where you want them or not, you can either knot this off here or what I like to do is just to give it a bit more security, I actually go around a second time but this time I just do a bit of a stitch to hold those gathers into place where I want them. So I just go into the doll fabric and pull through and I'll continue that around and that's just going to hold my dress where I want it to stay. And now I'm just going to knot that off and we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so to do the nose, I'm just using a small amount of just a light pink embroidery floss. And I'm going to, oh, I've got a thread. I'm going to just go up to where I want the, the bottom of the nose to be come out near the top of where I want the nose to be oh goodness okay I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail and I'm going to actually stitch over that so I'm going to go either side of the nose and again I'm trying to do this on camera but still see what I'm doing it's tricky that's going to secure that thread into place. We can turn it down and we're just going to go slightly in with each stitch so it's not so far apart just to give us a bit of a triangle shape. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom of where we want our nose to be. And then we can trim off any of the extra fluffies there. That saves you from having to do any knots then. And then once you have filled in your nose and you're happy with how it looks, so we might just do one more stitch, then all you need to do is slide your thread all the way back in 
to the top of the head. Give it a bit of a pull, not too hard. We don't want to have a squashed face. And then we're just going to cut that thread at the top. And that gives us our little pink nose. And then we can move on to her eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, you're going to need a tissue because there will be mess. Um, I use fabric art paint, but any sort of black paint would be fine, an acrylic paint. Um, you could always stitch on the eyes if you didn't want to use paint. I just like paint. So I also use one of these, just a flathead dressmaker's pin. And that is going to be what I use as a brush for the eyes. So we'll just open up our paint, get it ready. And I'm going to use some pins to help me audition where I want the eyes to be. So thinking That's where I'm going to put them. Okay, so I've got my position for the eyes with some pins. I'm going to get my black one ready. So I'm going to put a little bit of paint on it, like so. And then I'm going to remove one of the pins and I'm going to give it a bit of a wiggle as it comes out. That will leave a tiny little bit of a mark. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's where I'm going to know to put my paint. So we have one side done. A little bit more paint on the end of the pin. Take out the other side. Give it a bit of a wiggle as it comes out. And then the eyes are on. Just get that paint off that pin so I don't get it on any good fabric because I would be that person. I would. All right, she's looking pretty cute. So the only thing left to do, and it's completely optional, is putting a little bit of blush on her cheeks uh, just to give her some nice little rosy cheeks. And then she'll be done. So I just use a regular, I've got this old, old blush that I don't use anymore. So I just use that a little bit on my finger, find where I want a cheek to be and just give her a bit of a, a dusting. Smooth it through and then I can do the other side. Same sort of thing, come around here, give her a bit of a dusting of blush, smooth it in. Blend, blend, blend. There you go. And here's my little rabbit, all done. Really happy with how sweet she is. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope you make a heap of gorgeous little rabbits. You can use them all around your house or you can give them to a sweet someone as a little bit of a gift. They are so fun to make, really sweet and great way to use up your scraps because you don't use a lot of fabric. So have fun making those and I will see you again next time. Thank you so much, my friends. <music>